I like to go into a Mac store and rather than looking for the particular type of product, I like to look for colour. That's what drew me to Mac in the first place. I'm not sure why people are hesitant with colour or hesitant to go for it with makeup. I don't know, maybe there's a, there's a thought that people are going to look at them strangely, but I kind of enjoy that. I'll give them a wave. <laughs> Life is too short to be beige. So we're going to be doing some chartreuse green eyes and of course some pink lips. I'm going to do coloured eyebrows because I need to match my hair. It's not like a haircut or a tattoo, you can wipe makeup off, it doesn't work. You can play around. So we're going to start with eyebrows. We're going to use Viva Glam lipstick. And I'm going for this cool peachy tone of the lipstick because it's the perfect colour to match my hair. I haven't seen my natural hair colour since I was about 12. God knows what I am. <laughs> I like to do the base first of the brown to create the curve. And then I'm just going to soften this colour up. Otherwise you could look a little bit like a thunderbird. Now because it's a lipstick, it's pretty creamy. So I'm actually going to set it with a blush. Just to set that cream in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little bit of depth. I'm using a lip pencil. It's in a slightly deeper pink shade. And I'm just taking this just along the base of the brow very lightly and blend. And what this does, it, it kind of creates like an anchor for the brows. So it just really gives it a little bit more of a 3D effect. The fun thing about the, the colors that we're gonna do today is that we're not doing, you know, the normal shading and highlighting of the eye makeup. We're just gonna go for intense color blocking. And if you make any mistakes with the brows, with my concealer, you can clean up the base of the brow really easy. It gives you a really nice polished look. All right, I've painted on my personality. <laughs> Everything pink makes me happy. Yeah, I know, how sad, isn't it? It was like that when I was five and it hasn't changed. <laughs> I'm gonna be using the Chartreuse Green, and this can suit all types of skin colors. We're gonna go straight in with this great green pencil. I've got quite small eyes, so I love a really diffused edge of this eye makeup. It makes my eyes look bigger. And you know, if you don't want to take it as far, you can just keep it really, you can keep it a little bit closer to your eye. And the reason why I'm doing the green underneath is because I'm going to be putting a really bright chartreuse over the top. And we want to get some really strong intensity. And you can't get it from just a powder eyeshadow. You need to put some colour underneath to really get it full on. Start a movement. It's all about green. We're going to start adding eyeshadow over the top. The green that I'm using today is called Swimming. It's got a shimmery texture, so it's really easy to blend. I'm going over the top of the green, and what it's doing is it's lightening it up. Yeah, loving this. All right, mascara. I could never have enough mascara. I could be here for hours. I'm just using Zoom Lash here because I like chunky lashes, no effort. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the same lipstick and I'm going to use it on my lips this time, heaven forbid. I want to press it in like a stain. I'm just going over the top with a little bit of concealer, just so we're getting a little bit more Bridget Bardo feeling, the pink version. I'm using the same lip liner that I actually used in my brows, just underneath just at the top. It just gives your lips a little bit of shape. So this lipstick is clearly a winner because I'm going to use it all over my face. If you have different colours on the eyes, lips and cheeks, you can feel a little bit clownish. Um, so I'm going to be using the same colour and I'm just going to use, once again, my finger. <laughs> Alright, so the finishing touch here, this is probably one of my favourite products. I'm using Soft and Gentle. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be giving my skin some shine. I like to look as fake as possible. Can you tell? So I'm just going to spritz my brush here with a bit of Fix Plus. I'm going to go right into the soft and gentle. And I'm just going to sweep this over the top. And the reason why I'm wetting the brush is because it gives the powder more intensity. <laughs> like I needed more intensity with this makeup. And there we have a really nice natural day look. <laughs>